Our search for the world-famous Turkana boy takes us at least 500 kilometers outside of Nairobi to Lodwa, Turkana County. Beyond being the county where Kenya's first oil field was discovered, Turkana is also the location of a majority of Kenya's 350,000 fossils, some dating as far back as the era of ancient humans. You can hear that the first man was excavated at Maria Kotome in Turkana. So, uh, and that man is believed uh, to have uh, an, uh, to be an ancestor for the whole world. The first man that he is referring to is the Turkana boy, the first complete skeleton from the Homo erectus era. But to find the site of discovery, we will have to travel even further beyond the Turkana County headquarters to Nario Kotome, a distance of 170 kilometers or so in the blinding sun and on bruising roads. This is the exact site where the famous Turkana boy was discovered and what one can see is this monument and a brass replica of the skeleton. The place is practically deserted, sealed off by a fence with little activity in sight. The actual skeleton is not here, but rather safely preserved back in Nairobi at the National Museums of Kenya, a factor that some locals are not happy about. According to the National Museums and Heritage Act No. 6 of 2006, the National Museums are supposed to serve as, and I quote, national repositories for things of scientific, cultural, technological, and human interest, end quote. Since Turkana Boy predates Turkana culture as we know it, his national status places him under the responsibility of the national government through the National Museum. If you're going to bring the Turkana Boy, where are you going to put the Turkana Boy? It is the only, only, almost complete skeleton of an Homo erectus we have in the entire world. And it is nowhere else stored. It is in National Museums of Kenya. In a strong house, the other bomb Nairobi law, it will still survive. So, Muzidani Iko America, Iko Wapi, it is here in Nairobi. So, we return to Nairobi and make our way to the National Museum of Kenya to meet the head of Earth Sciences, Dr. Frederick Mandi. Good, good to see you, Eva. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, well, yeah. He leads us to the strong room at the museum. This location, we are told, is also fireproof and bombproof. Wow, so this is the strong room, huh? Yeah, this is the strong room. Okay. Uh, this is the room in which we store Kenya's very famous fossil materials. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenya is very famous for being the cradle of humanity. But among those, Kenya is very famous for one very key fossil, okay. the Trukana boy. And here is the Trukana boy. The original fossils are so delicate that Dr. Manthi hesitates to bring them out, first showing us lifelike replicas made from casts created by molding. It was so interesting the way the Trukana boy was discovered. Um, the story goes this way. It was on a Sunday, and, and Sundays are usually rest days uh, when you are out in the field. So Kamoya Kimeu, who was, the, who was the, 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 the leader of the team, uh, but working under Richard Leakey, uh, walked, just, just, just to walk, just to take a stroll from the base camp. So he found a small fragment of the, of the, of the skull, and he knew right away that he, he, had, he had discovered a, an early human ancestor. And out of that little skull, they, they, I mean, the, the Trukana boy was discovered. 37 years later, scientists have been able to discover a lot more about this priceless skeleton. The Trukana boy died between the age of 8 and around 12 years old. 8 and 12. 
Trucana boy days for 1.6 million years ago. It's really one of Kenya's iconic fossil discovery. Out of Trucana boy, there's been tens and tens of PhD uh, projects. Uh, if you go to most museums across the world, you'll find a, a skeleton of the Trucana boy on, on, on display. Go to big museums in the US and all over the world. And now, after patiently waiting, we will finally get the rare opportunity to see the real deal, the preserved remains of Turkana Boy. This is the original of the original fossil of the Turkana Boy. And you can see very well, uh, this is, is a, a duplicate of that and the originals are usually very 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 fragile the difference between turkana boy and modern humans is that they had smaller teeth a smaller overall size and thinner less robust skulls and a larger face but has kenya fully capitalized on this discovery to attract tourists and create jobs in the process i think as a country we need to come out really out of our closet our closet and talk about Kenya being the cradle of humanity. We have a very, very rich and very complete fossil record that documents our history to far back in time than South Africa does or have. And I know KTB and, and, and other arms of the government are working on this, but I think there's, there's need for a for more aggressive way of dealing with this, this particular issue. Turkana boy falls into the Homo erectus classification system, all of whom are now extinct. Scientists believe that modern humans, also known as Homo sapiens, evolved from this Homo erectus. However, this scientific hypothesis usually runs into conflict when compared with religious history. Religion is wonderful. It, it's wonderful because it tells us about how we should live with one another. But Science ex explains things also in a different way. What, what science ca cannot describe or explain, that's when the divine power of God comes in. For example, science tells us that, uh, that life began from a single cell, from a single celled creature or whatever it was, organism. But where did the single cell creature come from, organism come from? Science doesn't tell us where it came from. And in my view, that's, that's God, that's divinity. Kenya could do more to protect such archaeological wonders by ensuring that locals don't desecrate such sites looking for treasures. But in addition, the country must do more to track and return its treasures abroad, including the world-famous lions of Savo, who, since 1924, have been on display in the Field Museum of Chicago in Illinois. Wahiga Mwaura, Citizen TV.